Okay, now we need to install the software so you can view your new system on your computer. Uh, to download that software, you can download it from the USB thumb drive that's included with the system, or you can go to our website and click support across the very top, and then go to support CD. These are the same files included on the thumb drive. So we want to go to the ProView series folder and then into the software folder. There's a Mac and a Windows version. Uh, the setup is the same on both, uh, but today we're going to be using the Windows version. I just want to download this file here and it comes with the search program to find your equipment, the surveillance client to view the equipment and the owner's manual for that surveillance client. Once it's downloaded, we'll need to extract these files. Go ahead and double click on the surveillance client and select extract all. Once they're extracted, go ahead and double click on surveillance client again to begin the installation. And here you can choose where you'd like to install this program. Okay. And then it comes up with the startup wizard. We want to proceed with next. And if you're on the same network as your NVR, you can click add online device. If you're located elsewhere, you can manually add it with add device, but you'll need to gather some information off the NVR first. For now, since we're on the same network, we'll go to add online device and it searches for all the equipment that we have here on the network. We're going to add the NVR here. It's going to ask for device name, a username and a password. The device name is just a description or a descriptor. You can uh, put whatever you'd like there. There's no right or wrong. And then it's the username and password that you log on to the MVR with. If you haven't changed that, it's just admin for the username and the password is left blank by default. Once you add that, it'll take a moment to connect to the system. When the red lines go away, you can click the import all button in the middle. That'll bring all the cameras into the group. And once you've done that, we can go to next and finish. And then from the main view, we can view these cameras. Once we expand the default group, we can take the device that's been added and drag it into the window to view the cameras. And once this system has been added, it will work on any network that you take the computer to, uh, you just have to program the NVR into the software. So since we did a search for it, it added it through its ID here, the serial number instead of an IP address. So if you have that serial number, you can click add device and you can just fill it in manually if you're not with the system.